Hi, my name is Takashi Mori. I came from Japan. I'm 25 years old. I would like to ask you a question before I start my presentation. How many of you here have never experienced an armed conflict when you were a child? Okay, thank you. In my case, I was raised in a middle class family back in Japan. And as many of you, I have never experienced an armed conflict. Yet, I would like to talk about child protection in armed conflicts and more comprehensive legal remedy for them today. First of all, I would like to share one of the reasons why I am addressing the issue of child protection during armed conflicts. It is based on my experience as an aid worker in the Gaza Strip in Palestine. I was working at an NGO that supports people affected by armed conflict, including children. And there I found Hamas, a Palestinian resistance movement, recruits and uses children as soldiers. Can you imagine how scary it is to live there, to just to be there in Gaza? When I was there, I saw that windows suddenly started shaking so hard, and it was not because of the wind. It was because of the sonic boom caused by a battle plane up in the sky. And I also felt that the ground suddenly started shaking and quaking. And I say quaking because I thought first it was an earthquake, but it was not. It was a rocket dropped just nearby. Now, children who are six years old or more in the Gaza Strip have already experienced armed conflicts more than three times. And some of them are not only in the fear of being bombarded or shot, even when they're playing, they are forced to be in the actual battlefield to fight against adult soldiers. Is that what they really deserve? I don't think so. And what are your thoughts when you compare this situation with your own childhood? Personally, I could not stand with this unfairness. So I strongly believe that all children should be legally protected, all of them. I'm not saying protecting children is more important than protecting other civilians during armed conflicts. But I really focus on children because they are one of the most vulnerable group during armed conflicts. And without a question, they are the future. In international criminal law, you can fortunately see that perpetrators are now being increasingly held accountable for their violations against children during armed conflicts. For example, uh, a case related to a child soldier. It was delivered by the International Criminal Court. The case, however, illustrated a certain limit. That is, some children were excluded from the definition of child soldier because they say they are not in the actual battlefield. But those were the girls and boys who had been recruited as domestic servants and who had been sexually abused by commanders or soldiers. Probably they did not take up guns, but they were mistreated the same. And how can you ignore them? On the other hand, a case delivered by a regional court, it was also related to a child soldier. The court found perpetrators guilty for not only using child soldiers, but also for committing sexual violences, including forced marriage. What the court did was to overcome the limited definition of child soldier by not only applying a single provision on child soldier, but also combining with other relevant provisions on sexual violence and forced marriage. And in my opinion, this practice should be followed by a larger legal institution like the International, Court of, International Criminal Court in order to protect all the children, all the vulnerable children that are affected by armed conflicts. 
I became strongly interested in this topic, protection of children during armed conflicts, after meeting a Palestinian man whose son, whose son was shot to death by an by Israeli soldier in 2005. You might have heard about him because he's the one who was filmed in the documentary named uh, The Heart of Jenin. He told me that he decided to donate his son's organs to severely ill Israeli children. Was it the message of peace or was it the act of resistance? I do not know. What I know is that his son was just playing on the street when he was killed. What would you feel if it was you to decide to donate your own child's organs to someone who belongs to the other side? That really made me think that I need to do something. And hopefully, after this conference, I will go back to one of the conflict areas in order to contribute in the area of, in the area of child protection. And I also hope that we all keep in touch, even after this conference, in order to act together to make the world better. Thank you very much.